Okay, your guess is as good as mine why I didn't do this earlier. <laughs> Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Pre-Accident Investigation Safety Moment. I'm your host, Todd Conklin, and today we're going to talk about rumble strips. And I talk about rumble strips all the time, and I can't believe I didn't do this safety moment earlier. This is by special request. In fact, there's been a ton of requests to have this discussion, so let's just have it. I think the rumble strip is a near-perfect safeguard. I'm giving that silence for everything to kind of sink in a little bit. You with me? How can I say that? Well, there's a couple things. One is if you look up rumble strips, and you ought to, they're in the National Transportation Highway Safety Administration top 10 defense list. There's a lot of research around them. And here's what we know. If you put a rumble strip on a road, either side rumble strips or center rumble strips, you will have a decrease of angle accidents by 77%, a decrease of head-on accidents by 51%, a decrease of side swipe same car by 55%, a decrease of side swipe by opposite moving car by 45%, and you'll have a decrease of same vehicle runoff the road accidents by 47%. All in all, your decrease in fatal accidents will be about 52%. Now, those statistics are interesting, and they're very significant. I mean significant both in interesting and in statistically important to this story, right? But here's what I think is most interesting about this little comment I'm making about rumble strips. All that stuff aside, I think rumble strips are the perfect defense because rumble strips are designed to work when the driver screws up. In fact, rumble strips won't work if the driver doesn't drift away somehow, operationally, fall asleep or stop paying attention or become complacent or inattentive or distracted or whatever else you want to put in that word there. The rumble strip counts on the driver failing, and then when the driver fails, the rumble strips allow the driver to do two things almost simultaneously. Detect and correct. If you think about this, they're they're elegant in their simplicity. They're super, super cheap. They cost nothing to maintain, and they're nearly perfect because this safeguard is designed to work when the driver fails. And when that driver fails, it allows that driver the opportunity to detect the failure and then correct the outcome. So let me ask this question around your high-risk operations in your organization. You know people will drift. That's not even unusual. When they do, do you have rumble strips? Something to indicate to them that they've drifted. Allow them to detect and correct. The rumble strip is elegant. Elegant. Think about it. That's your safety moment for today. I hope you had fun. Learn something new every single day. Big day for that, right? Have as much fun as you possibly can. And for goodness sakes, be safe. everybody i did a safety moment on rumble strips are you happy now